What's swinging guys, it's Carl Ring here and today I'm in my bedroom and I, I've got my uh, no not my sorry I mean a Q-tip there because my grandfather clock oil finally came it came earlier than this than the day I'm recording this with and Dad the Winger didn't tell me so I'm a bit annoyed at him for not telling me sooner but let's go grab this off, grab this, get a little bit of oil onto the Q-tip and like it said on, said to and then there we go, there's one bit of oil on this, Let, don't know if this is what you're supposed to use, it's what it said to use but let's see where it's spinning when I do this Ah, so it. Let me see where the oil was. It says there. Let's see. Hmm. Where else does it spin at? Let me try Hopefully guys, um, this grandfather clock oil if I'm applying it properly which I hope I am um, well, I'll hopefully get it working better. Try and apply some oil to everywhere where it looks like it'll spin. Alright, let's see. That's the bit where it spins for the hour. Yeah. Why are you asking? You could give me. You could give me a, a, after I finish the bed. I don't know how long. As as long as it takes to to do all the things for the oil than the ringer. Hmm. So it looks like it's starting to work better than it did. There we go, let's try and get that so it's Alright. Now let's see this. Look at that. It's working better. Maybe that was the problem after all, just needed a bit of foiling. Alright, now that I've done that with the weight cog bit as well, let's see. Working better. Now we try this bit near the bit where the lever lifts up for the quarter chime. 
try this bit here where it should do the ticking bit for the ticks. Now let me see, test the quarter chimes out guys. Needs a bit of foil around some different sides. Uh, yeah, dude. Mm -mm. <laughs> but if you see this now, guys, <laughs> let me put the. Let me put the web thing back so no oil comes out of it. Sorry if you can't see it well, but um, if you don't know what I did, I squeezed some oil onto here and there and there. And now look at how good the hour is working now. Let's see this. What do you think guys? It's starting to work better than it did. <laughs> Let's go put you back on the tripod and so I can see if you can see it well or not. I'll go here and check what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like you can see me, but it needs to be zoomed in a bit. Like that. Yeah, you can see the URL now. So now let's get this off. And then let's start oiling up again. Hmm. Let's try. Let's try a little bit of oil there, guys. Near where the bit is, so when the cog turns where the weight's connected to, because they seemed a little bit rusty, in my opinion. Alright, let's see if there's any more bits where I haven't done yet. Do this little bit where it turns so when... That's where we will do it. Um, hmm. Starting to run a bit better. Yeah, let me do this quickly and do this a little bit here. Hmm. Wonder if there's any bits around the back.
Yeah, sorry, I can't do a bit of doing it around the back. I'm going to need to do some major work on the back if it's stuff I need to oil at the back. Whoops. Let me grab this there. Right then guys, yep, yeah, let me grab this here now. And then, hey guys, <laughs> so now I'll show you the proper look at how the hour is going then. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's probably why. Let me see if this is why. Yeah, that's it. I've stopped it from chiming all the time, only when it goes off like that. So I fixed one problem with the hour strike mechanism. All we need to do now is get the quarter chimes working, get this working here, which is the bit where it ticks when the pendulum swings, and then it'll be all working properly, hopefully. But I'm going to end it for this update now, so if you enjoyed it, and if you enjoyed seeing me get the clock working better than it was, then please subscribe for future content, and until next time... Ring out.